In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with cones. In example A, it says what is the surface area of the cone? So you should remember that to find the surface area of a cone, you figure out the area of the circle, pi r squared, plus the area of this sort of lateral surface, which has actually a sector of a different circle, which has an area of pi r l. And l is actually the slant height right here. So in order to do this, we'll actually need to figure out the slant height because it's not given to us. We can see that the radius of the circle is 9 because it's half of the diameter. And we know that the overall height for the cone is 21, but we don't know the slant height. But we can see that this is a right triangle, so we can use Pythagorean theorem to solve for L. We'll do 9 squared plus 21 squared equals L squared and simplify this to solve for L. 9 squared is 81 plus 21 squared, which is 441, equals L squared. So that means 522 equals L squared, which means that L, the slant height, is about 22.85. So now that we know our slant height, and we also know our radius is 9, we can substitute that information into our formula. The surface area is pi times the radius, 9, squared, plus pi times the radius times L, the slant height. And now we just need to simplify this. In order to do that, don't worry about the pi for a moment. Just simplify 9 squared to get 81, and then you have 81 pi, so put the pi in. And then do 9 times 22.5, or 22.85, to get 205.65 and then have pi at the end. Then combine those two together and you get your total surface area is 286.65 pi units squared, since we're talking about a surface area. Notice I left my answer in terms of pi. You could substitute in 3.1415, an approximation for pi if you prefer. In example B, it says the surface area of a cone is 36 pi, and the slant height is 5 units. What is the radius? So let's remember that our formula for the surface area for a cone is pi r squared plus pi r l, where r is the radius and l is the slant height. So let's substitute in the information that we were given. We were given that the full surface area is 36 pi and the slant height is 5. So that means we have 36 pi equals pi r squared plus pi r times 5. So let's try to simplify this a little bit. We get 36 pi equals pi r squared plus 5 pi r. We can divide each term by pi, since they all have a pi in them, in order to cancel that out, and get 36 equals r squared plus 5r. So this is a quadratic equation. You want to solve this by first setting it equal to 0, and then you can use factoring in the zero product property, or you could use the quadratic formula. In this case, I'm going to factor, because I see it can be factored, as r plus 9 and r minus 4. So that means that my two answers are r plus 9 equals 0, or r minus 4 equals 0, which means that r equals negative 9, which doesn't really make sense, or r equals 4. Now the reason that r equals negative 9 doesn't make sense is how could you have a radius that's negative 9 units long? What does that even mean? So that doesn't make sense in the context of this problem, so our only answer is that r equals 4, so the radius will be 4. And... It will just be four units because those were the units that were given, just units. Finally, let's look at example C. Find the volume of the cone. So to find the volume of a cone, what you have to do is pi r squared times the height divided by 3. In this case, we're given that the radius is 5, so that's our r, and we're given the slant height, l, equals 15. So we're going to need to use Pythagorean theorem to solve for the height first. So we have that 5 squared plus h squared equals 15 squared. So 25 
plus h squared equals 225, which means that h squared equals 200, which means h equals 10 root 2. So now that we know both our height and our radius, we can substitute in each of those into our formula to solve for the volume. So the volume will end up being pi times 5 squared times 10 root 2 divided by 3. So that gives us 250 root 2 pi divided by 3. And I'll just leave my answer like that because there's a lot of stuff that you could divide in order to get an approximate answer or you could change pi to 3.14 or root 2 to an approximation. I'm just going to leave it like this and put units cubed. But you could get an approximate answer if you prefer.